Hi there, um, I'm gonna teach you two new words in this book, the title of this book. Maybe you know some of them already, but they're two funny words, I hope. Uh, okay, I see a funny glare. This is called the unbudgeable curmudgeon. Have you ever heard the word curmudgeon before? Oh, I see a bad glare again. The unbudgeable, that means you can't move them, curmudgeon. And curmudgeon is kind of a funny word. I hope no one ever calls me that. But uh, let's read this and see if you can figure out what it means to be a curmudgeon. There's the picture. Maybe that gives you a hint. It doesn't mean monster. I'll tell you that much. The unbudgeable curmudgeon. Oh, she looks like she's trying to budge him. So maybe he is a curmudgeon. How do you budge an unbudgeable curmudgeon who really refuses to budge? So he's sitting in that chair. And the word curmudgeon really means someone who's kind of cranky and stubborn. And uh, let's see what else we can title that. So how do you budge them? You might ask the curmudgeon if he wouldn't mind scooching over a smidgen. Please, can you scooch over a smidgen? Or you could distract the curmudgeon by changing the subject. Look, a chihuahua on roller skates. Maybe he's hungry. You could offer the curmudgeon a chunky wedge of your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Chocolate fudge brownies have been known to make curmudgeons budge. Look at those brownies, yum, yum. But beware, sugar can worsen the curmudgeon's condition. What condition is that? They won't budge? Does that mean they won't? Do anything you want them to do? You might try getting their curmudgeon in trouble. Mom! Maybe that'll budge them. Some say, if you can't budge them, join them. But where does that get you? See how they're stuck on the chair and no one's moving? It wouldn't be right to bludgeon the curmudgeon. Bludgeon means to hit them with a big club or something. But maybe he deserves one humongous hug. Or nudge. Excuse me, I did that wrong. Maybe he deserves one humongous nudge. I don't know if a hug would work, but she's trying to nudge, which is really just a little push. Uh-oh, she's nudging and pushing and pulling. Uh-oh, look, the curmudgeon turned into a boy. And uh-oh, now she's getting upset and she's turning into the curmudgeon. How do you budge an unbudgeable curmudgeon who refuses to budge? Uh-oh, he made, he made her unhappy and now she's got the big teeth and she's the curmudgeon. Hugs can budge curmudgeon. Sometimes reading a book in a cozy nook can do the trick or not. If all else fails, you can try turning on a favorite song. The one that makes you sing along. Now he's trying to budge this unbudgeable curmudgeon. It can be tricky to get the gunk off the funkiest funks. 
But once a curmudgeon begins to budge, you'd be surprised how quickly the grouchies can vanish. Now, neither of them are curmudgeons anymore. They're happy and they're painting together. Uh-oh, she spilled the paint. He's turning into an unbudgeable curmudgeon. So next time someone asks you to do something you don't want to do, even if it's something you should do, don't be an unbudgeable curmudgeon. Why don't you just cooperate? And then you'll end up having fun. I love you. Bye-bye.